What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about the new Predator movie called Prey. Uh, a few days ago a friend of mine hit me up, said that he was watching the movie, and I told him I'd seen the previews, I didn't really care. Uh, I, I'd already decided in my mind that it was going to be another terrible Predator movie. Like, why can't we get a good Predator movie? Like, anyway, so he was like, no dude, I think you need to check it out because there's a scene that you're definitely going to want to see. So I automatically knew that it was going to be a throwing scene. And uh, I went and checked it out, and uh, it's pretty cool. Here's the clip. from that clip it was a pretty rad pretty rad clip the the throwing that they did in it the woman was throwing she was doing really well it looked legit the distance between the trees looked legit um, and I liked what was going on there this seems like a pretty cool concept so what I have here is a tomahawk this is just a cold steel Norse Hawk it's just been highly modified this is a uh, Joe Dara made this for my stepdaughter a few years back yeah we're gonna try it Got some paracord here. Now the two things, the two things I'm concerned with. One, how well will it fly with a string attached, right? Um, it could, it could get caught and impede the throw. And then the second thing is, from what you can see in that scene, she was sticking them very deep. Now, a dull tomahawk would probably be better. This one isn't, well, this one's pretty sharp. But this is what we got. So, like I said, the string, I'm worried about that. And I'm also worried about how deep it sticks into the target. These are newer targets. They're not all chewed up yet. It's gonna be a little difficult, I think, pulling it out. She had hers tied somewhere up in the middle like this. That's what we're gonna do. Um, it would be better if we could have it tied down here. That way you could get a little bit more leverage to yank it out of the, uh, the log ground or the tree. But uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a few shots and um, see how it works out. I have targets on both sides of my range. I need to set up the camera and uh, we'll get into it. So in the movie, she is throwing backhand, yanking it out, grabbing it, and then throwing uh, straight overhand. And whoever came up with that did a good job. That's a legit throw. I'm always analyzing knife and tomahawk throwing in movies. And they got it right with this in, within this movie, so I'm pretty stoked about that. So here's try one. We're going to do a backhand. Try to yank it out and grab it. Throw overhand. So let's see if... Uh, the string gets in the way here. Let's just do a test real quick to see if the string gets in the way at all. No way. popped out. That wasn't too bad. From the looks of that, it's not definitely not going to come straight back to my hand, so that's definitely busted. I would like to see if we can get at least one back into my hand. But so that was that was the backhand. She yanks it back, grabs it, and then throws over top. <clears throat> There's no way. I'll try the top target, maybe a little bit higher. I'll be able to, if I can throw it just right. I 
through it pretty light, so maybe I can get it to come out. Oh! Okay, so it's possible. I don't really want to get my hand in front of this. It's not real sharp, but it's sharp enough. It'll get me. So let's go ahead and try that again. I'm just throwing it real light. Now it's my goal. I want to catch one. It definitely needs to be, I wish I had a target about 10 foot up. I know I could do it then. Try the backhand again. Whoa, shit. <laughs> well, it's definitely not going to work with the, the backhand, so. Okay, this has been a shit show. I got one more idea. Bear with me. Okay, the way that she had it tied in the middle in the movie, no go. You need to have it tied to the bottom to get leverage out. So my fix is I'm just gonna throw it one and a half spin so it sticks upside down so that maybe I'll be able to yank it out that way. Will I be able to grab it? That's my ultimate goal, but I'm not really worth willing to risk cutting my hand for a stupid video, but we'll see what happens here. That's it, this is fucking stupid. As you can see, looks awesome in the movie, practical, no. Would I be able to yank that out eventually and catch it in one hand? Maybe. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna move on to how I should, would have done it in the film. So I'll reset up here and show you how I would do it in real life. So what I would do, I would just carry two. It's actually quicker than throwing, yanking it, grabbing, and then throwing the other way. This is with same hand here. So, that concludes the video. Uh, the movie starts out okay. It's worth watching. It gets a lot better in the end. Um, but 
as far as the video goes, is it practical? No, it's definitely not practical. Uh, it looks cool, the throws look good in the movie, but tying a tether, rope or cordage onto a tomahawk, yanking it out of the tree, especially with that much force, no, it's not gonna happen. Only in the movies. Thanks for watching, peace.